of everything. Me? I'm thinking about the foods Forrest paired with his wines. Stay tuned. <laughs> So tell us about the food you're going to prepare that's going to complement the wines. Oh my God, you've given me the, the great uh, thing of trying to match Oregon wines with Oregon food, huh? It's so This will be really fun. So uh, today we're going to do a couple really interesting things. Um, I've, I've brought up some crab cakes that I made up earlier, and we're going to fry these up a little bit. Um, the crab cakes are made with love crab, um, a little bit of green onions, little scallions, um, um, a little bit of seasoning and a little bit of uh, breadcrumbs, but pretty much very simple. Did that go with what wine? Which wine? Oh, that's going to go with our 2006 Willamette Valley Pinot Gris, which is really fantastic. What's really nice about this is that this is the seafood wine. It goes great with crab cakes, goes great with oysters, goes great with all kinds of different seafoods. Um, it's got this nice creamy texture to it. It's got great acid balance. It's got wonderful Pinot Gris nuances, and I think you're really going to enjoy it. In the meantime, you know what's really important? We should start opening these wines because, you know, any good, uh, any good meal has to have good wine, and if I'm not cooking with great wine, I don't know what's going to go wrong. <laughs> so now we can taste this. We want to make sure that it's in prime shape to be drinking and eating with these foods. Make sure I'm not burning the crab cakes. Let me do this first. Oh, okay. Those look good enough to eat, Oh, huh? yeah, yeah. <laughs> I do. There's no wine in my glass. This is a big problem. Yeah, that is a big problem. <laughs> Let me get you a little more. I'm Zach. going to try this. It smells delicious. Oh, my goodness. Mm-mm. So oh, what goodness. do you think? Oh, you know so what you're the doing. The question is, is the pairing, does the pairing work? Okay, let's do that. I did that first. It's a total different wine. Yes. Shall we talk about what is then, what would be next? Um, oh, and, with the other one? Um, and then after we finish the crab cakes, we're going to do a truffle rigatoni. And that's done with prosciutto and a little bit of onions and scallions, and it's going to be really excellent. And we're going to pair that up with our signature Cuvée Pinot Noir. Oh, what a great nose. Oh, yeah. It's just... Envelop the genie a little bit, open it up with a little bit of air. What is that that I taste in there? Well, Pinot Noir's got some wonderful nuances. It's got a little bit of the earth, and um, uh, this partly comes from the estate vineyard here. This vineyard really shows this meaty, earthy character to start off with. It also has great acid balance, as all Pinot Noir should be, because they're really food friendly. It's got some wonderful black and red fruit characteristics. Uh, it's got some a little bit of, uh, of, of toffee, a little bit of leather. So here we are. We're going to do a truffle rigatoni. I'm going to start off. I've got a little bit of my secret spice. I'm going to just kind of uh, smoke the secret spice really quickly. And it only takes like three seconds. And then, smoked, we're going to throw some onions in there. This is a really quick little recipe. We're just going to leave it dry just for a second. Just kind of get those onions going in there. I'm going to add a little bit of scallion to that. The smallest amount. And again, just on a dry pan. And that's because you want to bring out the flavor, is that's that right? right. Mm -hmm. And this is the quickest recipe of all. So then I'm going to throw just a little bit of, tr of uh, chanterelles in there with a little bit of butter just to even make it even better. Mm. And again, that's only seconds. Doesn't take a whole lot of cooking. We don't want to overcook that. This is so... And then I've Beautiful. got this little bit of prosciutto de parma that I've cut up in little small pieces. We're going to throw that in. And we're just toasting this up just for a second. Ooh, that smells great. Just and the prosciutto, this. the smoke of the prosciutto is going to, uh, go, you know, bring out some of the taste out of the wine, is that right? Oh yes, the prosciutto is going to, the, the, mushroom. this is all, the mushrooms are all going to add to the interesting nuances of our wine. Then, I'm going to throw about half of these truffles in. Okay. Oop, there goes the cork. About half of these truffles in right now, and I'm going to just finish off the other half in just a minute on top after it's done. 
and just give this like about yeah. another minute or so and it's pretty much ready. Ooh, just smell that. Oh yeah. I mean it just smells just absolutely terrific oh right there. I and you can, really I can smell, smell the mushroom. The, the mushrooms, and you can really actually smell the truffles in there a little bit also. That's what I'm smelling, yeah, exactly. And that's pretty much ready to go. That's our sauce. Oh, All right. one more thing. A little garlic. Last minute, we don't want to burn the garlic. And just a touch of parsley, just for the look. And then we'll just toss these right in. Give a quick little mix. And there you and have there it. There you have it. Oh my goodness, I can't wait. Oh. Okay, let's see what this is going to taste like. Pair up with the wine. Let's hope it worked, huh? <laughs> I think you know what you're doing. Oh my goodness. Mm. The this way the earthiness of the wine comes in with the earthiness of the truffles. The way the acid balances with um, with a little bit of onion in there and the garlics and the flavors. Mm, the travel definitely the earth thing is going there. I yeah. love it. I love it. The smell, the, the aroma of the food, and then getting the wine in your on your tongue, and it's the same. It's like bringing it together. I just absolutely it love really it. It really does bring it together, doesn't it? We'll be right back with this it. But I'm finishing this first. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you. <laughs> We've got our 2006 Willamette Valley Riesling. This is a wonderful Riesling. It's got um, great acid balance. It's got um, sweet and sour characteristics. And so it's sweet because I've left residual sugar in it. And then it's sour because it's got racy acidity. And that sweetness, along with that sour, balances itself off to be wonderful with dessert courses. Interesting. And today, I've set us up with a great dessert course. This is um, some local Oregon pears teamed up with some local Willamette Valley artisan cheese, along with local hazelnuts. And then we made a reduction sauce out of our Riesling. Oh. And this is going to be really tremendous to taste. Fabulous. Let's go. Let's go. And so we just kind of threw these in the oven just for a second to kind of melt the organzola on there. Mm. Okay. That toastiness of those hazelnuts, that wonderful bite of the cheese, that wonderful nuance from that fresh pear. And then here we go with this wonderful wine. Let's see what we got. Let's see. Oh. That was just absolutely beautiful. Oh my goodness, it, the wine is so alive on my tongue, I can feel it just running. Mm -hmm. It's got lots of spritziness in the mouth, and so it actually is, is alive. It is, I love it. And so, does it the, the complements the pear or the cheese, or all? I think it's all, and the hazelnut actually brings it all, brings it all together. That's what I did, I took a piece of hazelnut before I finished it off, it's beautiful. I want to thank you for showing up today so I could show you my um, great wines and show you how they pair with Oregon foods and tell you a little bit about my winemaking anyway. That was so interesting. It's wonderful to meet you. Thank you so very much. Cheers to you. Cheers to us. My visit at Willamette Valley Vineyards is one I will not soon forget. I hope one day you get a chance to meet these fine folks. Until next time, remember, life is too short. Always drink good wine. For more information about Willamette Valley Vineyards, their destination, their wines, or recipes, check out our website www.thecorkscrewdiary.tv.